I'm so excited. Hey everyone, it's me again, Brittany, and I'm here today with a very exciting unboxing, and that is my Owl Crate unboxing. I'm so, so excited about this. I am an Owl Crate rep now, guys. You know that I've been wanting this for so, so long. I used to get Owl Crates boxes last year. I got them for a whole year, actually, and we are finally in that moment of time where I get to say that I'm an Owl Crate rep, and it's all thanks to you guys, honestly. So thank you. You can use my code Brittany for 10% off your first order, and I'm just we're here, we're here doing this together. We're so excited. I'm really glad to have Owl Crate back in my life. It's an amazing subscription box and I just wanna jump into it with you guys, so let's do it. So let's open it on up. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, guys. We have our spoiler card, which is absolutely stunning. And the theme for this month is Storms and Seas. By the way, it's August. I mean, you probably know from the video title, but it's August currently. So I don't really want to read it because obviously I don't like being spoiled. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna put that right there until we need it. Let's grab this first thing, which is exciting. And it says it was a dark and stormy night, dot, dot, dot. Is this a lantern? Oh my goodness. That is so cool. <gasps> Guys, so you put a little tea candle. Oh look, it's, it's a little owl. You can put a tea candle and you can hang this up and literally have your own little lantern. This is so cool. I don't know if I wanna hang this up and be really cool and like in the middle of the night when everything's scary and dark and I hear a noise, I grab my little lantern and creep down the stairs, you know? That's, that's a possibility or I can use it as really cute decoration for my shelves. Honestly, both options sound really, really good and plausible. I've seen like tons of these like really big ones at Ikea and I've always wanted them but they always seemed a little too big and so this is like, this is perfect. I'm so excited. I want to have a hook like outside of my door, fancy iron hook to hang my lantern. That That is the ideal situation but unfortunately that probably won't happen. So it says to be extra careful when using it because it does get hot and it was created just by Team Alcrate. So let's grab this. <gasps> Is this like a pen case? It says, I am so alive. This is a really cool design. I'm very much into it. Oh my goodness. And inside it says, the ocean will not shift me and the cold will not take me by Maggie Steve Otter. Oh, this might be the Scorpio Reese's. And it looks like it actually has like a secret bottom. <laughs> it does. This is so cool. I think it's like a pen case. And this is really fancy. I like this. I feel like I would use this more for like art brushes or even just in general like my makeup brushes just to take on trips because the metal case obviously would protect it. I really like this and it's sturdy and it has like a nice, it like, it stays shut. And even the false bottom, it's actually kind of stiff to take out, which is nice. I think it's Scorpio races, but let us see. So it is a tin pencil case and it's inspired by the Scorpio races. I haven't read it, but since I saw Maggie Steve Otter and there were horses and the only two books I know by her are Raven Boys and the Scorpio races, I assumed. And it's designed by Stella Bookish Art. Of course it's designed by Stella Bookish Art. She is one of my favorite artists, honestly. Both of these items so far have been very unique and actually really high quality. So I'm already very impressed with my first Owl Crate rep box. Ooh, oh, I'm into this. Okay, so we have a loose tea blend and it's decaf Earl Grey and a hazelnut spice. Oh, that's nice. I love Earl Grey and I tend to crave it more at night. So having a decaf version will actually be way better for me. Oh my gosh, I wanna smell it. Let's open it up and smell it because it has like a little Ziploc thing to reclose it after. Yikes. Mm. Oh wow. Okay, it has like almost the refreshing quality that Earl Grey has because Earl Grey is like a very lavender smell, but it's sweet. Like the, the hazelnut is pulling out. I love this. This is a nice tea. I'm definitely gonna have to try this. I've actually been in a very big tea mood lately, so this is gonna be very good for that. I know that it just got darker, guys. I felt like my camera was maybe too bright and it wasn't catching on to like some of the prints like this one, so I darkened it a little. Sorry if the lighting's all weird now. Oh, you can see that way better. <laughs> Perfect. And it's made by Riddle's Tea Shop and it's an Owl Crate exclusive. So let's go into the next thing. Ooh, it's a wooden bookmark. 
and it's created by Juniper and Ivy. Nice. And it says, the sea watches over me, she protects her own. I love this. It's a really thick wooden bookmark. It doesn't look like the classic woodmark. I love that it's engraved with like a squid and there's a ship on it. This is really fancy. So it's a wooden tassel bookmark inspired by Daughter of the Pirate King. That actually makes so much sense. I love that. And it's made by Juniper and Ivy. I really, really like this. It's so nice. I don't even want to use it like as a bookmark. I just kind of want to hang it up and admire it. It's so fancy. Ooh, and we have some bath salts by the Soap Librarian and it's the Little Mermaid and it smells... Doesn't say what it smells like, but it has salt, chamomile, lemongrass, orange peel, lavender, rose hibiscus, and fragrance oil. Let's sniff it. It's very light and sweet, but it's not like a like a vanilla sweet. It has a very like fruity sweetness, but it's also vanilla. It smells kind of like oh, it smells like a creamsicle. I could be wrong. Actually, it does not smell like a creamsicle. I have no idea what this smells like, but I do like it, so there's that. <laughs> it smells so pleasant. I mean, obviously bath salts were used way before bath bombs were used, but I kind of prefer them in some ways because obviously it's like a multi-use item and less chance of it getting damaged in shipping, honestly. So I'm really happy with this. I'm definitely gonna have to take a bath soon and use this and be my best Little Mermaid self. I wanna do the pin at the end because I feel like book first, then the pin because the pin is inspired by the book, so. Let's grab the book. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I'm so excited. So I actually had requested to get House of Salt and Sorrow for my book of the month book pick. And like a problem had happened in the requesting process and so they'd sent me a different book and I really wanted House of Salt and Sorrow and I was very bummed about it but now I have a copy oh I'm so hyped I don't know what they changed we have obviously our letter from the author and it says once there were 12 of us and we have a really really cool is it a bookmark or an advertisement it's a it's like a bookmark a giant bookmark and it's metallic and it says be careful who you dance with in a manner by the sea, one by one, twelve sisters are cursed. Who will be next? Annalie lives a sheltered life at Highmore, a manor by the sea. With her sisters and their father and stepmother, once there were twelve, but loneliness fills the grand halls now that four of the girls' lives have been cut short. Each death was more tragic than the last. The plague, a plummeting fall, a drowning, a slippery plunge, and there are whispers throughout the surrounding villages that the family is cursed by the gods. Disturbed by a series of ghostly visions, Annalie becomes increasingly suspicious that her sister's deaths were no accidents. The girls have been sneaking out every night to attend glittering balls, dancing until dawn in silk gowns and shimmering slippers, and Annalie isn't sure whether to try and stop them or to join their forbidden trysts. But who, or what, are they really dancing with? When Annalie's involvement with a mysterious stranger who has secrets of his own intensifies, it's a race to unravel the darkness that has fallen over her family before it claims her next. That actually sounds so cool. Okay, I knew it was something about like a house on a sea and there was like sisters dying and that was about it, but this is so, so my alley. I know that it's fantasy, which is really cool. I love fantasy. And I'm just really freaking excited. I'm so happy that we got it in the box. I think that what they changed is the actual cover is more like a cool toned like bluish gray and this is more of a teal I, you probably can't tell i really need to fix the settings in my camera because they've been weird sorry but it's more of like a turquoisey situation but in the camera it looks way more blue and let's grab the pin oh my gosh that is so cool so it was designed in collaboration with laser brain and it's this awesome tower with like tentacles coming up there's a feather. I can already feel the inspiration. Amazing. Okay, that's awesome. I'm so happy. It's my big head covering it. Let's kind of, oh, I don't know why I'm not looking anymore. Let's grab the little pamphlet. We have our interview with the author, and then they have how they changed it, and I was right. The original is more of a cool toned, like grayish blue, while this one's definitely more of a turquoisey blue, and they also made the tentacles more purple. Oh, and the title is in silver and instead of the like tarnished gold. I like it. It's a simple change, but honestly the cover was already perfect, so there wasn't that much that needed to be changed, you know? A fun little crossword puzzle. We have an interview with the soap librarian, which is the person that made that amazing smelling bath salt. 
and the photo challenge and an owl babble so that's going to be on September 27th talking all about House of Salt and Sorrows. And then we have our September theme which we have another little card for right here and that is going to be Fear the Night. It says let's get spooky. Next month's box is Delight of Frights, perfect for this time of the year. Their book pick is a very unique and atmospheric tale. It's not horror, but it's definitely creepy. <laughs> and it's gonna be an exclusive edition, which is also signed by the author, and you can expect a bunch of awesome goodies. It's gonna also come with a second book, an exclusive paperback edition from the Penguin Horror Collection. That's actually so cool. I forgot that this is gonna be signed from the author, so let's look. Whoa, love that. Oh, that is such a sick title page. I'm really, really pleased. This was a really cool box. There's just a ton of items in it that I've never gotten in other boxes. I don't know. It's hard to pick a favorite, actually. I don't really have a least favorite. Like, they're all really cool. I love the pin. I love the tea. It smells absolutely amazing. The lantern is actually probably my favorite item because it's so unique and amazing. But everything in here was was awesome. Let me know what you thought of this box and if you're going to be getting next month's. I'm really excited about it. I like the ad the idea of a Penguin Classics Horror Edition. I just am excited, especially because it's right before October. It's going to get us right in the mood for the creepy Halloween spirits. That's it for this video today, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye!